in real life, any kind of crime is foul and horrible. It's basically one human being causing another human being to suffer in whatever form. Somehow, in fiction, it becomes a different animal. Crime fiction and murder stories, which I write, are hugely popular. And I think there are a number of reasons for this. At, at the basic level, crime fiction is good versus evil. And a large drive in reading the books is finding out when the villain is going to get caught, how he's going to get stopped. Crime fiction is supposed to have started really with Wilkie Collins writing The Moonstone. Of course it actually has its roots way before that, um, even going back to Beowulf, certainly in Shakespeare. A lot of Shakespeare's plays revolve around crime, Hamlet, Macbeth. But it really took off as a genre, I think, in the 19th century with Sherlock Holmes. The police in the 19th century were really in their infancy and there was a lot of crime around at the time, a lot of high profile crime with Jack the Ripper and so on. And I think people lived in what is glibly called today a climate of fear. And the idea of having a detective who was super intelligent and would always catch the villain was very reassuring and very attractive to people. And I think this is one of the appeals of crime fiction that However heinous and ghastly the crimes are, we do have an underlying sense that by the end of the book, some kind of moral order is going to be restored. And that's, that's hugely comforting and reassuring. At the same time, a bit like with the horror genre, we can act out our fears in a way, in, in a safe kind of environment, because you can always close the book. So somehow, when crime moves from real life into fiction, it becomes very, very different. That said, I try very hard, as I know most crime authors do, to make my books as plausible and as authentic as possible, because I think that makes them more frightening. I like the idea that my readers can be thinking, this could be happening in the house next door. This could be happening to me. It's this idea that you're lying alone in bed at night. There's no one else in the house. It's pitch black. And you hear a door close. I haven't actually written that in any of my books, but that's the, the kind of idea that inspires me in a way. One other aspect that I do explore in my books, which are, to me is important, is the effect that crime has on other people. When someone is killed, it's not only that life that has been cut short, but the lives of all the people who are close to that victim are affected. I was talking to somebody recently uh, who had had a murder in their family, which unusually was unresolved. And she said, they still don't talk about it, it's too raw. That murder occurred in the early 1950s that has affected people in that family for all these years. And of course, if anybody dies, people are irretrievably affected. And I think if it's a violent and unexpected death, then that must be so much more difficult to deal with. But in crime fiction, somehow that rawness loses its edge because we know that things will achieve some kind of resolution at the end of the book.